Sunday morning, 7 a.m. And I'm gonna go do some food deliveries today. None of my other apps usually work on Sundays. So the only option I have is food deliveries today. I have nothing better to do. Out here, just uh, drive around in the Jeep, see if I can deliver some food, make a little money, and just kill the day, I guess. I don't really have anything else to do. But they had some donuts for me this morning. So I grabbed them before I left. So I'm gonna eat this donut, folks. <laughs> And, and see if we can turn this video into into some some cash. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see how the day goes. So, all right, we'll we got our first food delivery. It's a McDonald's. Pays nine dollars and five cents. And then the app went off as soon as I was getting close to the McDonald's. So I was right here. So I didn't go out of my way for it or anything like that. So. Let's get this delivered. Exactly four minutes. Funny story though, I delivered to, I delivered this delivery to a guy named Clint. And I have been delivering deliveries to him for the last four years, ever since I started doing this stuff. Um, usually he'll be hanging outside if it's later in the day and I'll always stop and bullshit with him for a little bit. Nice guy, I think he's retired and doesn't like to drive very much, but uh, it's been a while since I've delivered to him because I haven't been doing this. I've been too busy with other things, but at least I know he's still alive and he's still kicking and he's still ordering his food. <laughs> so that uh, was kind of cool. Maybe next time I'll get to bullshit with him. So he probably didn't, he probably didn't even realize it was me delivering his food because uh, it's been a while. <laughs> so. Because usually if he sees it's me, he uh, he makes sure he comes out and bullshits with me. But it, it's early this morning, so he's probably not even dressed yet. So, All right, well, let's go back to our... I have a waiting parking lot that I go set in all the time. Because, uh, you know, ever since fuel prices went up, instead of driving around... I used to just drive around when, when, when gas prices were like a buck something a gallon. Buck, I think it was a buck 87, buck 95, somewhere in that area. I just drive around. And it would give me a you know broader area to, to get more deliveries and but ever since the fuel prices went up I just go and stay in this area that I like and uh, if, if for some reason I sit over there for you know 15 20 minutes and I'm not getting a delivery right away then I'll move to a couple other areas that I have picked out but uh, I just don't I don't drive around now and waste fuel it's just uh, I've got myself in that mode ever since it was almost five bucks a gallon now it's I think it's three I think it was 345 this morning is what we paid um, so it's not as bad as it was but nothing like it used to be so we'll be back well we're here at the Starbucks parking lot seeing if we can get another delivery but I thought I would just take a real quick second and you know and, and talk to you know not even the RV people if you're coming across this and you you know because it's a uh, you search gig workers and this video comes up you know if you hate your job and you want to make a living and, and you don't mind driving I mean don't get me wrong you, you driving is the big part of this if you enjoy driving um, and it doesn't bother you being out on the roads and stressing about the traffic and stuff like that then this is a great job for you you know you you can get up every morning if you want and do this and make two to three hundred dollars and even when you first start out, if you you know you figure 150 to 200 in that area until you figure it out, um, and you know you can at the end of the week make a thousand, twelve hundred bucks after your fuel expenses, you know maybe a thousand just depends you know how hard you hit it. But it, just starting out, you should be able to make a thousand bucks if you do this, and that's cash money in your account as you make it. Um, not waiting two weeks to get paid or a month to get paid and then the government taking their 35% off the top right away. You actually get that money in your account. So this might be a great way to make a living instead of, you know, going to that job. They want you there at that certain time and, you know, you need to get off early for a doctor's appointment or a family thing and you always get, you know, they're always giving you shit about it. Well, you don't have that problem with this. So, uh, you know, this, this, this job here is like drama free pretty much i mean the only drama that's going to cause here is if you cause it yourself 
most time you don't even have to talk to anybody everything's done on the app you walk in you say the person's name and you, you pick up it and, and you go to the person's house and you you know put it on their porch and hit a doorbell I don't even remember you know ever since the pandemic people used to be there waiting to grab their stuff from you and bullshit with you and talk to you and everything and, and a lot of them were pretty cool but you know if you don't like being around people this day and time you don't even see anybody i mean most of the people in the restaurant are making it up or so busy they just ask for a number or a name and you give it to them you grab the package you're gone you take it to the house you set it on the porch you snap a picture sometimes they want it in a garage or instructions differently but you know you don't really deal with anything like that so th this job is drama free you know the only stress is if you're working in a really high traffic area and you got to deal with that but if, if you're somebody that likes to drive or like me i'm in the rv life we're always traveling and driving and before the rv life we were always traveling and driving so um, this is nothing for me I, I got my vehicle with my music my my vehicle set up the way i want it i can watch a youtube video and the other thing was i'm waiting for it um you know nobody's telling me what to do I do the jobs I want to do when I want to do it. I work the days I want to work. You know, th that freedom is just, uh, like I said, that freedom's priceless. So, you know, if you just came across this video and you're thinking about doing that type of stuff, you know, this is the, the this is a great job. You, you just got to be able to multitask and you got to be one of those people that don't need to be told what to do, that you can actually make a decision on your own and go out here and, and, and just kick this stuff out. And, and, and don't let yourself get frustrated if it's a slow morning. If it's starting slow, you know, find a family member to talk to her or a video to watch or, you know, bullshit with a friend or something like that. And don't give up because you'll set out here and all of a sudden, boom, it'll just change. And then it's bam, 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 bam. And you're like, holy shit. I didn't realize I made that much money today and I'm going to, I'm done. I'm going to go home. You know, and then the next day you'll come out here and you're driving here and your phone's already going crazy and then it's bam, 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 and it's noon and you, you know, made $300 and you're like, I'm done. I'm going to go wash my vehicle today or go and just take it easy or watch that show you wanted to watch. And I mean, this freedom is great. I mean, the only downfall to this is driving. And if, and if you don't like driving, then it's probably not the job for you. But if you've been driving a lot your whole life, like I have, it's just second nature then you feel like you're not even working so remember folks if you like the videos give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing on the channel because this channel we're doing everything uh, there's a lot of things that i do we ain't even scratch the surface surface to the thing that robin does and putting it all together on this channel it'll either work or it won't work but you'll get the real you get you get us totally real and you'll get to see everything we do and how we do it and if you like it, then subscribe to the channel. Oh, alrighty, we just did a Starbucks for 12 bucks, so that was nice and easy. Um, what else are we gonna show you? Oh, let me just show you this here real quick. This is this is Uber. Since 2018 is when I started doing these food deliveries. I've done 15,799 food deliveries just for Uber. I've done at least half of that much from, um, oh, what do we got? No, we're not going to do that one. That paid like crap, so we're going to do that. And I think I did at least half that many with DoorDash. And I've done at least 5,000 with Postmates. I did Postmates in the beginning. It um, was the first ones I ever did because they you can get hooked up so fast. And Postmates, you fill out a few things and probably that same day you can go out and start delivering with them where uh, these other ones take a few days to get your background check and everything and uh, they needed to know your vehicle and you got to give them a registration and Postmates back then all you had to do is tell them what you were driving they didn't even want proof of any of that I think you had to give them proof of insurance and your copy your driver's license and boom they're you're ready to rock and roll with them but Postmates you had to do a lot of uh, ordering the food um, and you, so you had to pull up to the drive through order, go inside, kind of a pain in the ass, but it paid like double what these paid. Back then it paid, you know, 15, 20 bucks for every delivery. Um, it took you a few minutes longer. So I started out doing those, but then when I got hooked up with DoorDash and Uber, um, Uber's better because in my opinion, 
Uber, I just hit the button whenever I want to. And what would happen was I'd be out delivering paint and doing my other deliveries and my packages, and I'd get done before I expected, and then I would just tap on the Uber and I would go kick out some Uber deliveries waiting for another job to come through on one of my other apps. Well, with DoorDash, the problem with DoorDash is you have to schedule everything. So, now don't get me wrong, you can turn it on. If it's a super busy day, they'll let you work. But sometimes that doesn't, doesn't always, you know, just doesn't turn out for you. So you have to have a, you know, a plan. So when I know I'm working this week or certain days that I know I'm gonna work, then I can go and schedule my hours on that. And then I can pause it and stuff like that and go back on it when I'm doing some of my other deliveries. But if you pause it for too long, they'll kick you off and then you're done for the day. So that's why Uber is my number one because I can tap it and turn it on whenever I want but I still keep DoorDash. Like the other day when I did the first video on this stuff, I already had DoorDash scheduled for the whole day. So I you know, I was able to work it. And, and then the next day when I knew I was gonna do paint deliveries, I scheduled it for a few hours later so that I knew those paint deliveries would be done. And then I would be able to do that because you wanna have at least two of these food apps going all, at all times. So when one's not working, the other one usually is. So, um, you know, I, I've, like I said, 25 or 30,000 food deliveries I've done in my lifetime. And that's since 2018. I never did that before 2018. I was always doing bigger packages and, and, and that type of stuff. And, and I sat on that last night and I was thinking about how many deliveries I'd done. And, you know, it, it's like 60 or at least 50 or 60,000 deliveries of packages and paint and all that kind of stuff and then i thought well how many inspections have i done well i did a thousand in property inspections per month for six years so you got that's like 11 or twelve thousand property inspections a year times six that's what i did back in 2012 i think 2012 you know maybe it was 2010 or 11 12 somewhere around there and then I did it for six years and then I and then in between the, the those I started doing paint deliveries and then you know that's not paying enough so we're not doing that and then I started doing paint deliveries and I was still doing property inspections because I knew that I wanted to get out of the property inspections but I still wanted to find a way to make money and I talked to this company and he's like you know what we got um, UPS deliveries I started out doing UPS deliveries for like um let's say your computer broke down and you would call the the repair guys or the warranty guys and then what they would do it was like hp computers for all these big companies they would dispatch the parts and i would be the guy that would go grab that part and take it anywhere sometimes three or four states away it was just crazy i mean i i would grab a part in fort collins and run it to salt lake city just so it would be there the next morning when the tech guy was there to re re to get their computers going at that company again. Those paid great, and, and I did that. That's what I was doing in between, and then I, as when I was getting slowing down, or, or you know, those were usually like late nights, early in the mornings, and then I had nothing to do during the day. Then I started picking up paint deliveries for Sherwin-Williams, and then I just phased out the property inspections because this was paying bigger chunks of money and I didn't have to work as hard and I still made the same amount of money at the end of the month but I wasn't working as hard and I had a little more freedom than I did with the property inspections property inspections was just like working a regular job they, they, they you know they, they had more work than you wanted to do and they just run you into the ground so that's when I progressed that over to that and then I thought, well, wait a minute, why, why am I working for these companies? Maybe I need to do it myself. And then I started doing it myself, and that, then I made you know, 25, 30% more on every delivery, but then I was being controlled all the time too. Then the app started coming out, and that's when I started thinking, wait a minute. With the app, I can just turn it on and work when I want to work. Now, you get a good record with these companies. They see how fast you get the jobs done. They're tracking everything you do. So, you know, you get, you get prioritized as you tap on an app and you come up, they, they know that, hey, this guy's good, you know? And, and they don't, and, and I don't think they penalize you for not wanting to work that day because, I mean, like I said, I'll work this for three months straight, I mean, and then just take off for a month or two, come back and do it again. I, Robin, Robin had some health issues in 2019, and 2019, I worked 305 days out of that whole year. That's how much I worked. 
because she wasn't feeling good and I would just get up in the morning and go do all this stuff and then come home, take care of her and help her out and get her situated or, you know, and then maybe have a doctor's appointment after a run or two and not work that day. But I worked 305 days out of 2019 and kicked ass. And um, so that was great. And then when she started feeling better and we got those issues all worked out and stuff, then I was able to slow back down and start enjoying our life again. And that's what's great about this work. So if you're thinking about getting into this type of work, you can make it work for you. You, know, you just gotta be a go-go guy and, and, and work them all. You know, you just can't rely on one. You gotta have at least, like I said, three or four every day I'm working, but I'm always looking for that next one. So if you watch these videos and you come across these things and, and, and you have ideas or other companies you're working for, put it in the comments because I'm always looking for other ideas um, and, and things that will work for me. And, and, you know, anybody else that watches this video, they'll see that and maybe they'll uh, f like what you're doing instead. But I'm always looking for this type of app-based ways to make money. And it doesn't even have to be on an app if it's something that I can work at when I want to. Um, I, I would love... I wish they'd do this with fifth wheel deliveries. I found this company that I can deliver like new trailers and all that stuff, I do that. But if those fifth wheel companies, like if you're running a, uh, an RV store and you're having problems getting things delivered, I would love an app for that because just imagine all of us RV people out there that have the fifth wheel plates and everything and the experience and stuff and we're not doing nothing. If they had an app for hauling travel trailers and fifth wheels instead of going to these big companies and going through all their bullshit you know where it's an app you know I just hook on that fifth wheel because it's your fifth wheel and I'm moving it you know like I do with everything else I'm able to do it or maybe that app in that app that company would have the insurance to cover us to do that but could you imagine that even for us if, if our trucks broke down and we need our fifth wheel moved and there's an app out there we could tap on and somebody would come get our stuff and move it I'm telling you Maybe that's my new business venture right there. <laughs> or somebody out there that's got a lot of time and a lot of money and just watch this video, maybe you need to set that up because I'm telling you, I would love to have that app on my phone too because there's a lot of times when we're out traveling on the road that I have that big truck and I can't haul these packages because it's just too expensive to drive that truck. I'd love to go over and grab a travel trailer and take it to another guy or somebody's broke down somewhere, go help them move them around. I, I, I don't think that app exists. At least I haven't been able to find anything like that. Um, so if you know about an app like that, you need to put it in the comments. So, But we're going to go do another food delivery. And we'll be back. And it looks like McDonald's is the delivery of the day. Because there's another McDonald's. So let's... I'm not even, I'm not even paying attention. Let's see how far away this one's going. But on the average, it's like, you know, four to five minutes is what these deliveries are. And then, you know, when they start paying $12, $14, then you're probably 15, 20 minutes away. So you got to kind of justify if it's worth that. That's why a lot of these, I try to get them in that eight to $10 range, five to six minutes away. And I get myself in that rhythm all the time because when you catch a busy day, it'll just be bam, 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 bam. And just like that, you did eight or 10 of them and you're like, holy shit, that was quick, you know? And, you know, that, that's definitely the way it was back in the pandemic way, days. Um, you know, a little slower, a little different now. I don't think people have the money that they had back then. There was a government giving out all that free money. And, you know, people tip better when the money's for free. When they actually have to earn the money, then the tip's a little less. <laughs> uh, I know. It is what it is, folks. So, But we'll be back. Alrighty, I think that delivery took about four minutes too. What do we got? No, that one's too, I don't want to go too far away. Let's turn that radio down. Let's go. Now another another thing that I was thinking about too is you know the reason I started this little series of these videos is you know to make it so people that want to get out of their life and travel and get on the fifth wheel and and, and experience things before they get old and die basically <laughs> is maybe if we they, they see that there's some ways out there to make money that they're not relying you know you know because a lot of people just don't they're not retired yet and they don't have the money to live this lifestyle but they want that lifestyle maybe they can see some of these videos 
and see the comments and we're not doing that one and see the comments from other people or we'll get more things out there like this because I know there's stuff out there to do that I don't even know about I, I was sitting here thinking this morning back when I was 18 years old I uh, would shag vehicles from like auto auctions and from dealers to dealers and that's how I started out it was pretty much the first job I got was shagging cars driving cars I turned 18 you had to be 18 years old and you would jump in a vehicle with a bunch of other people and they would haul you down to an auto auction and you drive a vehicle back to the dealership or you'd run them all over the place and, and, and that that's what got me started and then I started working for a car dealership and then before you know it I was running to the car dealership and that's how I started but I was thinking, you know, is, is anybody out there doing that type of work? And is there any apps out there? I, I've searched it and not found anything, but I wouldn't mind just, uh, you know, me and Robin were out in an area and our vehicle needed to be shagged. A lot of times though, uh, I was, you know, back when I used to do it, they would even give you allowance for like uh, for a rental car so you could rent it back or the dealer would have you take, drive something to them and then drive something back or you know sometimes you'd have to have a, bring a following vehicle you know like me and robin we could you know one of us could drive the vehicle and then drive the other one back i know they only pay you to go one way but usually it's like a buck 50 a mile or something is, is what i've been on some of these other packages i don't know what the vehicles are any different so if anybody has ever done that or you know of a company you can do that type of work leave that in the comments for people um you know a lot of times you're staying outside these big cities and you want to make some money you could just jump in a vehicle and drive it to a dealer and drive another one back to another dealer and you know work yourself back to where you started from and get paid all the way around that, that would be awesome you know and, and i would think with everything that's happened in the world i mean maybe not now it slowed down but you know a year or so ago there was you know more people wanting cars than there was actually cars to buy i i think that's changed a little bit now but i would think that'd be an ongoing thing all the time i mean if people are still buying food and don't have no money, they definitely still buying vehicles for way overpriced. And those dealers need to move back and forth. And with all the trucking problems out there, and the, you know, those, the, I know the truckers are fed up with everything and all the laws and everything that's happening to them. They, they're still going to need these things moved. And maybe they'll start using people to drive them from back and forth. Or maybe they already been doing that. Like I told you, I, I don't know all of this. I know what I'm doing really very well, and it's worked for me. But I'm always looking for that next next thing to make money, and, and you should be too. So that's kind of what I'm doing these videos about is to get more of us discussing that. Because when I when I when I research it on YouTube about you know full time um, living and and employ and jobs that they can do out there, almost everything that comes up is just you know go stay in a camp thing somewhere and you know work minimum wage for them or uh, they they pay your lot rent. You know long-term lot rent is six seven hundred dollars a month in the average place so i couldn't imagine working for them come working for those rv places for four you know four or five days a week just to pay that i mean you know you're not gonna be able to survive you're gonna get two days off and you're gonna have to go do something else to feed your feed yourself <laughs> so uh, I, I i'm not sold on that whole idea that's why i started these videos on ways to make money just doing deliveries and stuff if you you know if you got a a big RV and you're towing your small little economy sized car behind you, this would work great for you. You know, you go find that RV spot and get that monthly spot and, and then go do all these package deliveries and food and, and you know, if your RV's already paid for, you, you could probably live a pretty good life doing that. You know, enough to better replace that vehicle whenever you need to do that. So that's great for us people that are hauling these fifth wheels and these travel trailers driving these big diesel trucks. It makes it a lot harder. Um, you know, me, I could hook a scooter on the back of mine or, and ride around and do these food deliveries with a scooter, but a lot of these packages and these paint deliveries won't work for me. And if I do just paint deliveries, I can use the truck, but I would like to find something else that, you know, like I was talking about, maybe driving vehicles for people. Um, it'd be great if you could just, you know, tap on an app and go haul trailers and deliver trailers in the, in the life you're already doing in the first place. But, you know, thinking you're going to, work for a company and have to go get dot certification all the other stuff that goes along with it you know that, that, that starts you know you got to have a million dollar uh, insurance policy then it's then it's turning into a full-time career and and it's not going to work that way so that's why i didn't really look into that area but i thought i'd at least throw it in this video if you 
have ever done that or have some ideas on how to make some money doing that or maybe there's something out there and I just don't know about it and I know the, the viewers would like to know about it and I would too so but let's go find another delivery and see just like that folks one right after another um, we got a Starbucks probably four or five minutes down the road let's see I didn't even click on it yet I knew where it was going so I just started going that way <laughs> so, oh, excuse me I still haven't woke up yet and like usual I'm always rocking the breakfast of champions I should be a uh, Mountain Dew spokesman you know I've been drinking this shit for like 48 years I'm surprised I'm not dead yet but it's my thing we all have our thing you know I, I mean I don't I'm not a big drinker go out and have a drink every now and then enjoy it don't don't need it don't do it all the time don't smoke you know none of that stuff tried all that stuff in my life and wasn't for me but this is the one that I, I give this shit up I've gave it up for like a year year and a half one time and then this last time I gave it up for six months but the problem with it is <laughs> the reason I don't give it up it, it's it, it, it's my favorite first of all um, I gave it up just to show that I could but but then I'm going into the these gas stations trying to find something to drink and half the shit I don't like and um, and then when I do find something there yeah, I can drink that it costs twice as much so, so you know this is bad for you because anything bad in life is cheap because if they make it cheaper you'll buy that shit and that's the thing is you know you can get you know, I can get two of these for three bucks and a lot of the other drinks that I go and buy are three bucks for one of them so <laughs> and I'm a cheap ass so you know that's why I'm drinking the Mountain Dew all the time but it still gives me the energy and makes me feel like I could you know jump off a cliff Back in the old days when they showed the Mountain Dew commercials, that's pretty much what you did. All the crazy shit was done by the Mountain Dew guys. So I think that's the reason I started drinking it back then, because I was doing all the crazy shit. But not drink it because it's just my favorite. So, you know, leave that in the comments. What's your favorite drink? And why do you drink it? I'm not a coffee person. Robin will make me a, an espresso, because she, she drinks that stuff all the time. We got her an espresso machine we take everywhere we go. And she has her specialty chai thing, ice drink, or whatever the hell it is. And then she'll make me a make me espresso every now and then, just because I get the caffeine and it helps me function basically. But if I my choice of drink is Mountain Dew, and you know I don't drink my I mean one or two a day now. Not uh, back in the old days when the I would. The customer requested you leave the order at their see, door. Even they tells added you the what following to do. instructions. Leave it at leave my door. My door. <laughs> Well, let's find your door. Hey, and I found their door. But I used to drink a, I don't know, on a wild day when I was out crazy doing shit, I could drink a 12 pack of these a day. So, not so much anymore. I try to keep myself to one a day, and then I'll usually drink a little bit out of the other one and then finish it the next day. So, But we're going to go make this delivery. We'll be back. Well, here's a delivery I haven't done in a while. Black Bear Restaurant. Um... It's early in the morning. Normally I would avoid those places on a Sunday, but it's early still. And it's paying $19.50. Now I, I gotta drive a little bit out of my way to get it, but it's come bringing right back to the same area I like to work. So this will probably take 10 or 15 minutes. We'll find out. It's 8, 10 a.m. right now. So once I get it picked up and delivered, we'll have a better idea. But this one will take a little longer, but I'm gonna, I haven't been in that restaurant in a long time. Haven't done one of these, so. And it's paying very well and it's um, actually a door dash so you know you're getting paid that much or more sometimes on these door dashes they'll uh, actually if you get it done quicker the people add a little more tip to it but um, one thing about door dash over uber is one of these things you need to know is when, when, the, when the order pops up with door dash you're gonna get it paid at least what it says there or more never less with uber uber's not guaranteed until you know they people have I mean they have up to an hour to pay you on that deal so you know, I've seen it not not get paid what you're supposed to uh, and I and I, I know that's just some people that when it's super super busy 
they've been ordering food for a long time in their lives and they know when it's super super busy it takes so long to get their food so they'll go and make the tip really big just so they get you know somebody like me will grab it you know I won't because I I, I just I know what these people are up to a lot of times um, but a new guy will say oh I'm gonna make big money on this one he grabs this delivery goes and delivers it and then the people come up with some excuse that it was missing you know ketchup or some shit or you know they ordered a cheeseburger without onions and it got onions on it and they will give you a thumbs down and uh, and then the tip they'll cut the tip down to the minimum tip uh, and, and it's just one of those scammer things out there so that's one thing you got to deal with when you deal with uh, uber so but you learn this stuff the more and more you do this the better and better you get at it you learn all those type of scams you know because there's there's bad people everywhere folks that'll just do stuff like that you know they don't realize that if it wasn't for the guys out here running their vehicles running their gas putting the effort out and doing this this food this food delivery shit wouldn't even exist so it's guys like that that ruin it for the good people so but we'll let you know how this one turns out food was actually ready so i was able to pick it up right away we've got six minutes into this deal so far so and we got our there for them um, yeah that's like I said I usually I usually won't go and get these ones because it kind of takes me out of the, my little area that I like to just hammer them out because that's what I've been doing so far this morning bam 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 but then I stopped sitting there turned down like three or four of them that were a long ways away so I wasted like five six minutes and then this popped up and I'm like well if I grab this right away and it works out then I made up for that downtime of sitting there waiting for a delivery turning down ones that I didn't want to do at all so you know like I said figure this is gonna take 15 20 minutes we've got seven minutes into it right now so let's just see see what happens on this one and that delivery's done and it took 14 minutes I even did better than I expected I figured 15 to 20 and it would have definitely been closer to 20 if that food wouldn't have been ready but since I was able to walk right in and just grab it and turn right around. But that's also because I know that you can go to those bigger restaurants early, early in the morning. And then after 10 o'clock, you, you, you better avoid them or you're going to be waiting for the food. So, But it was funny. I delivered that food and the, the lady asked me, uh, you know, she, she did this for a while. And she wanted to know how I was doing. I told her. And, and then she told me, she goes, yeah, I tried doing it, but they just sent me all over the place. And I'm like you don't have to take those yeah but then your acceptance rate goes down I'm like yeah I, my acceptance rate is is crap always has been crap but you know 99% of the time since I've been doing this job I've always got a hundred percent my records a hundred percent for customer service and, and doing the job right and, and I'm fast so at, at the end of the day that's all that really matters uh, I'm not gonna take jobs that are not gonna not that I don't feel are worth it to me. You know, people don't seem to realize is you're not an employee for these people. You're a 1099, you're an independent contractor. And as an independent contractor, you don't have to do anything you don't wanna do. Now they will give you this incentive bullshit and tell you and give you these ratings and stuff like that. That's their way to put it in your mind that, that tells you you have to do it that way. No, by law, they can't you're not an employee they can't make you do anything and they can't hold it against you they put that stuff out there and it's there but it, they want it in your mind that oh no my acceptance rates are real low they're not going to give me any work yeah you know like i said i've done almost sixteen thousand deliveries for these people and uh, my priority is, is so high on the scale even with my acceptance rating being low because i will pull into a parking lot and see three other drivers there and that order will come up and I'll look at it and go, no, I don't want to do that. And I'll hit deny and you'll sit there for a few seconds and you'll see one of the other guys pull out of that parking lot and go because he accepted it. And then the next one will pop up and I'll go in there. And then a few minutes later, I'll, you know, the guy will be walking in for the next one. He's like, God, I've been waiting here forever. You pull in and you can go right in there. I'm like, yeah, that happens from time to time. No, it happens because I've done so many deliveries, even though my acceptance rate is always in the 30 or 40 percent because I turned down. I'm not going to do a job that, that I'm not going to make any money off them or I'm going to spend three times as much time doing it to make that little bit of money. You, you Like I said, you've got to learn this job. You, you, you know, you got to be a multitasker. you got to find ways to do it better. 
pay attention, remember the areas, remember the restaurants, sometimes remember the people. I, I will, I know a certain guy that buys um, food from this restaurant uh, all the time and he's that one person that I told you about that his tip will be higher than it's supposed to be and then when you go to deliver it, all of a sudden the tip, it never comes in. The pay never is never what they, they promised you. And, and I avoid that guy. I mean, it will pop up. I will see that restaurant. I will click on it, the details to see if I can get the name or anything off it. And if I see the name, no, I won't. And I won't say his name on camera, but I will avoid that one all the time because the guy never tips what he's supposed to. He's one of those people working the system. You know, there's lots of people out there that work the system. You know, I work the system. I'm working this system right now when I, when I do these deliveries on ones I won't do, the ones I will do. But I work the system that, that they set up and, and, and I make it work for me and you need to make it work for you if you want to make a living doing well we stuff. picked up Lori's village Inn. it was ready right when I walked in there um, you know it's gonna be one of those days folks it's just gonna be one right after another so what I'll do is I'll do a whole bunch of these deliveries and at the end of this video I'll recap what I did today kind of how many deliveries I did and what we made and how many hours we got otherwise I'm just gonna this video is probably gonna be way way too long because if you guys have noticed lately, I like to just babble on, you know, shit that just pops into my head. Like Robin says, I say whatever pops into my head. One, one minute I'm going this direction, the next minute I'm going that direction. But that's just who I am, folks. So, um, but we're going to get this one delivered and we're just going to keep doing this all day. And, and then at the end of the day, we'll show you what we accomplished. Talk to you later. Well, it's uh, 1217 and I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna be done for the day. It's uh, really starting to get busy out. I only I think I made hundred and fifty seven dollars and some change so a little hundred and sixty bucks. We'll call it hundred and sixty bucks. I'm not gonna get rich of it, but I guess I could invest it and maybe get rich that way. Probably not gonna do that either. Probably just go have fun with it. I'll buy something I don't need or we'll go put it towards a trip or something like that because like I said, folks, you only live once. So, you know, do it now. Don't put it off till tomorrow because you might not be here tomorrow to do it. So that's how I live. But, you know, I mean, what did I work? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five hours? I mean, five hours. What? Oh, yeah. And the last one I did was a Dairy Queen, and the guys give me a free Dairy Queen. That's the reason I went to that Dairy Queen is because they always give me something. <laughs> so got my favorite peanut butter cup blizzard and made 160 bucks for five hours on a Sunday morning and I think Robin's done doing what she was gonna do today so I guess I'll go spend the rest of the day with that beautiful woman so remember folks give us a thumbs up if you like these type of videos if not tell us you don't like these videos <laughs> but I'm gonna keep doing something right thanks for watching